friends. No, I have not given birth yet. I am here, I am large, I am ch in charge, and I'm ready to talk about one of skincare's most famous water-soluble vitamins, and that is vitamin C. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the benefits of vitamin C in skincare, I'm going to link a whole host of information, including three of my videos that have a series that build on each other about vitamin C below. Because we're not actually going to talk about vitamin C today, we're going to talk about vitamin C derivatives. What is that exactly, you ask? Okay, vitamin C derivatives. That's where we take vitamin C. That's this yellow Lego. And we can make them into something more complicated called a vitamin C derivative. We can make it water soluble or we can take vitamin C and we can make it oil soluble. When we apply them to our skin, our skin isn't just going to accept this and use it like this. Our skin will need to break down the other Legos to get to the vitamin C. What was the genesis of vitamin C derivatives when we know that ascorbic acid and L-ascorbic acid actually do great things on their own for the skin? They have a whole host of issues. <laughs> One, they can be unstable. Two, they can be irritating. Three, it can be really hard to get them where they need to go. You see, some of the places that ascorbic acid really benefit the skin are four layers down into the epidermis and into the dermis. That's a really far distance for a water-soluble vitamin to make it. So cue vitamin C derivatives. Ah, we can make them stable. Maybe we can make them penetrate better. They have the potential. 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 Ah, but in that potential, they also have their whole own whole host of issues, meaning the skin has to break them down from their derivative form into ascorbic acid and then get them the places that they need to go. So therein lies the rub. Where would we be without our science? Let's start there, shall we? I'm going to link a fantastic article below called Stability Transdermal Penetration and cutaneous effects of ascorbic acid and its derivatives. You yourself cannot read it for free. You will have to pay $7 for 48 hours of access and then you'll get to read it and look at it and you can screenshot it and whatever you want to do. But there it is for you. And in this article, they examine a lot of the current research and studies about absorption, penetration, and benefits of ascorbic acid and these derivatives. Now, before we jump into anything, spoiler alert, I'm going to tell you that in my personal opinion, the only reason you would use a vitamin C derivatives is that one, your skin can't handle actual ascorbic acid or L-ascorbic acid because it's too irritating. Two, you don't like high maintenance, expensive skincare that may spoil. But let's look at the research. We're going to talk about the four most common vitamin C derivatives that you'll find. The first two we'll talk about are oil soluble, meaning they have been chemically altered sources of vitamin C so that they're attached to a lipid. The first one, let's flash to our table here where it says stability, similar to ascorbic acid, percutaneous absorption, Yes, in animals, we don't know what type of animals, with parentheses that say formulation dependent. Conversion to AA, no data. So we don't actually know that it will be used and converted to ascorbic acid. Let me just really quickly flash up another point for you to mull over, is that in 2012, a study was done that showed that ascorbyl palmitate actually contributed to lipid perioxidation in the skin. I'm only going to link the summary of the article if you want to go and read that if you're concerned if that your favorite product uses it. I'm not going to go into that in further detail. 
Now I will tell you a green beauty product that uses ascorbyl palmitate is One Love Vitamin C Serum. Next up, Now they don't touch on this ingredient in the study, so we can't reference the table. However, I would expect that the results are similar to um, ascorbyl palmitate. Now, when I was researching this other oil soluble source of vitamin C, I went on to Lotion Crafter, I looked it up, it has some great stats, it's got some great marketing points. However, it's really expensive. Although I did find a study that said in conjunction with ascorbic acid, the participants actually did see skin benefits. Now, if you were thinking about looking for a product in Green Beauty with this oil soluble vitamin C, I can tell you right now it's gonna cost you a pretty penny because like I said, this ingredient is really expensive. Odacetite makes an autumn on the world. It's 15 mLs for $165, it's 15%. Cypress makes the Beauty Elixir Balancing Flowers. That product's $210. The other thing that we don't know is whether or not this ingredient also contributes to lipid perioxidation. Now, let's look at two of the water-soluble vitamin C derivatives. All right, let's look at the first one. Let's jump over to our table. Stability. Yes, at a pH of seven. Now, if you research the two water-soluble vitamin C derivatives we're gonna talk about, they both have to be in a product with a pH greater than six. Um, some of the sample formulas I saw were 6.5 to seven. What's the pH of the skin? 5.5. Do you wanna be consistently applying a product to your face with a pH of seven? Let's look. So yes, stable at a pH of seven. Percutaneous absorption. Yes, in an animal. And then in parentheses, but limited. Conversion to AA, yes, in vitro, meaning that in a test tube, it did convert to ascorbic acid. Do we know if it does that in the skin? No, we do not, not according to this table. Let's look at two products in Green Beauty, the OC C Vitamin Boost 100 mLs, it's $38. The 100% Pure Vitamin C Serum also contain that ingredient. The next one we're talking about is the Now let's jump over to our table for this one. Stability, yes, at a pH of seven. Percutaneous absorption, yes, in animals, parentheses, but limited. Conversion to AA, no data. Let's look at two green beauty products that this is in. There's the Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum. There is the Orgage Sheet Masks, and there is the Agent Nature Holy C Powder. Now what about Green Beauty's take on vitamin C derivatives? Green Beauty tends to advertise or market their products as having natural sources. Take for example the product that Beauty Heroes just sent out last month by Blue Alchemy, um, their vitamin C serum. They advertise it as having natural sources, cockadoo plum, and there's another ingredient. Do those products work any better than vitamin C derivatives? Again, there's just limited data to say that it does anything. And that's really where you kind of come to in skincare is there are certain ingredients that give you a direct feel, benefit, um, noticeable, visible difference. And then there's some ingredients where you're like, maybe, maybe. And that's why I'm saying if you're really, if your focus is really that you wanna truly get the benefits of vitamin C, then your best bet is to try to start off with an actual ascorbic or L-ascorbic acid product and see if you receive any benefits. If you can't handle it and it's irritating or it's too expensive and it's too fussy, then you would turn to vitamin C derivatives. So that's that on this video. Of course, weigh in. Tell me what you think. Remember, I don't try every product.